Batman. What's good, YouTube? Welcome, everyone. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel. This is the best channel on YouTube right now. We're killing the game. We're giving you the best exercises, the best workouts. No excuses. You can go to the gym. You can go to the gym. No problem. You can find workout routines here that you can follow with no equipment if that's what you're into. If you want to do workouts in the gym, you love weightlifting. There's a ton of exercises on this channel that you can do with clear explanation. You don't need anybody to tell you anything after that. So without getting too much into the talking, I'm here to show you guys a quick push-up routine that you can do at home. Press-up, push-up, whatever you want to call it. You don't need any equipment for it. And I guarantee by the time you finish this, your chest and your arms are going to be on fire. That part. So, push-ups, very important exercise, very basic. Every, everybody should be able to do it. I hope so. I don't know if that's right. But if that's correct, but I would hope that you're able to do at least a couple of push-ups, man. Spang out a few. But the problem with push-ups, whenever people talk about push-ups, the first thing they think of is how the number. It's like a numbers-driven exercise. Everybody's worried about how many push-ups they can do. If I tell you, when people hear push-ups, the first thing they think of, oh, I can do 10, I can do 50, I can do 20. Today I want to change your mind on that, don't worry about the numbers. Okay, it's good that you keep a track of what you are doing and all that, but the most important thing is that you are able to do proper push-ups. I don't care if you do only 5 or 2 or 1 or 3, it doesn't matter as long as you are doing it properly. First of all, why are you doing the push-ups? You are doing it so it has an effect on your body, right? What, why is, why, what makes the push-ups have an effect on your body or what makes your body be active with push-ups or any exercise you're doing? It's because you, you're feeling it. It's putting some pressure on your body. It's resistance training. You're pu putting your muscles under resistance, which forces them to be stronger and along that process, bigger. So, you want to make sure that the exercise you're doing, your muscles are feeling it, not just counting numbers in your head. Forget about the numbers. Anybody can bust if, like 50 push-ups, for instance. But if you tell them to do it properly, they're probably going to be able to do only 20. So it's not about the numbers. It's about how effectively you're doing the exercise. So focus on doing it properly and not just going through the motion and trying to read the numbers. You can do a thousand push-ups and get nothing from it. To get something from the workout, push-ups or any other exercise, you make sure that you're feeling it, you're doing it properly. So today, before showing you the routine, that I used to do a long time ago before I used to work out in the gym and I got great results from it. I will show you how to do proper push-ups. So, if you, how many push-ups you can, can you do right now? 10, 50, 20, whatever. I bet you, try this, do it in the proper way. And that number is going to be cut into half. Promise. If I'm lying, comment below. So let's go. Normally, people will do push-ups like this. Then, straight, in, out. Tell me what I'm doing wrong right now. Tell me what I'm doing wrong right now. People will do that. And tell you they can do 50 push up. Because there is something I'm doing wrong. For you, maybe you're like, oh, that's not too bad. But there is something I'm doing wrong if I want to do it properly. That's what you're doing, you do 50 push-ups. Now try this and tell me how many push-ups you can do. Here, before I'm here, you want to touch the floor or are really close to the floor and when you go up, not up to here. You don't want to keep your elbow straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. That's good push-ups. If you are looking to get some results from your push-ups and not just counting numbers. Touch the floor. If you really want to feel this in your chest, get your chest growing, get them gains. Touch the floor. I'm not talking about numbers. Forget numbers. Touch the floor. Straight lock up. Straight lock up. Of course, you don't want to drop your body like that. Straight lock up. Straight lock up. Straight lock up. <clears throat> do that as opposed to what you used to do on count 15 push ups. Tell me how many you can do. See, 
Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys a quick, quickly about 10 15 minutes of push up routine that you can do anywhere. I used to do this any and everywhere, whenever I just had some time. Before, way before I used to go to the gym, and I think that's part of why my chest is like maybe the most developed part in my body because. I've always been doing push ups, like done and done and done some push ups before I even started lifting weights. So, this is something you can do at home really quick 10 15 minutes, seven push up variations. No, but before we get into that, one quick tip don't worry about the numbers when you do push ups, do it properly, like I just did, all the way down, lock out, feel it, control, don't just go through the motion just to count numbers, don't do that. Do it properly, it doesn't matter if you do five. At least you know that this five is working. Instead of doing 10 just to do it. And eventually, you wanna be able to do as many as possible, but with proper form. I'm just saying if the form is not right, nothing is right. So get the form right. If, if some, like you cannot do even one, get on your knees, start here. All the way down, lock up. All the way down, lock up. It's, it's okay to start from like the modified or easier versions and then push your way through. What I'm not with is, what I don't agree with is just doing 100 push ups. That, 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 the effect of them 50 fast push ups on your body is equivalent to 3 good push ups. So you might as well do 3 good push ups. Save you some time. But anyway, I will now show you guys. Seven uh, push up variations to get your chest on fire. By the time you finish this, you're gonna be like, <coughs> cut that. Hey, uh, now, we, it goes like this you will do three, listen here very carefully. Anyways, you do three push ups, three variations of push ups, 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps. Then rest for 30 seconds. Then do another three. This second three is different. 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps. Then rest for another 30 seconds. Then do the last one. The last one is only one push up, but you do it really slow and it's gonna kill you. That's like the killer. After you kill yourself, the last one is gonna kill you more and send you to the grave. Uh, rest in peace by that time you do that last one. So it goes like this. The first three push ups, we start with Diamond push ups, your hands like that. Can you show them? Put your hands really close. Down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Without rest. Standard push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Without us, really wide push ups. See that? It's gonna pop with your chest. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three rounds. Ten each. Rest for 30 seconds. And we go into the next three. Uh, it's okay if you cannot, if you need to take longer rest. You can take longer rest. You need to do a little modification or easier version of the push ups on your knees, you can do that. But the goal is to get to a level where you can do it the way I'm doing it right now. You might cut the camera and take some rest. As you can see, that was the first three rounds. Now we're going to the second three with only 30 seconds rest in between. If you need more rest, you can check that. Yeah, so second three it goes like this. Go wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 without rest. Now, we 
We're gonna do some clapping push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. What's the next one? Third <laughs> one. We're gonna do some deep push ups. Kind of forgot, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be discouraged because you see me struggling. I haven't been doing push ups in like three years now. I'm even surprised that I can still do this. But this used to be like my daily routine. I used to do this like three, four times in a day. Whenever I had some free time, I just bust them out. You do this for just one round and you're done. Three, three, and one. By the time you finish the last one, that I'm about to show you guys right now. Your chest is oh, gonna be on fire. You know, all you need to do is them push ups, a little bit of cardio, and you're on your way to the promised land. So, we did three 10, 10, 10, 30 seconds rest. Another 3, 10, 10, 10, 30 seconds rest. Now we're gonna do the last one. By the time you get to the last one, you'll be struggling, bro. Don't, don't be discouraged though, just push through. It's gonna burn like you're dying, but when you finish, the burn stops. So it's not gonna be like the burn is gonna follow you to walk. So don't be scared, just push through. That's how you get transformed. The more you feel the burn, the more results you get from your workout. So, I'm gonna show you guys the last one. Like if this push-ups are a little bit too advanced for you, for instance, the clapping push-ups, you can do it on, 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 on the bench or anything that you don't have to go all the way down to the floor. That way it's easier. But before you try to do this, I'll hope that you are able to at least do like 10 or 15 push-ups proper ones like I saw you guys in the beginning. So, last one. This is only one exercise, one push-up variation. But it's really difficult, that's why you don't need to do three, two orders. This is one of its own, but it equals the other set of three. So, here, going down, we do three counts on the way down. When we get down, we do three counts and explosive up. That's one rep. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's one rep. One, two, three. One, Two, three, it's two reps. One, two, three. It's one, two, three, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's four reps. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's five reps. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's six reps. One. Two military style. Three. One, two, three. That's seven reps. Military style. Focus! One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know how many. Eight, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eight. Half. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. One, Two, three, ten, just for the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah! Military style, bro. That's gonna work your strength, it's gonna work your conditioning, and it's gonna work the endurance of your muscles. The strength comes in holding all that weight for three seconds down, pulse down. Oh, man. So welcome. Yeah, Come show us some push ups. Come show us what you do. <laughs> go on, go on, guys. So, 
The strength part is holding yourself with all that weight for three seconds down. You go down, you hold yourself, that's really making your muscles stronger. For three seconds down, explosive up. Every time you do an explosive move, you're working on power. Fast explosive move, going up. Then, the endurance come from all the slow reps. You're training your muscles to be able to perform at an extended time without being tired. So you get an overall uh, different uh, effects on your muscle in terms of the strength, power, endurance and hypertrophy. Meaning you're making your muscles bigger because they have to be in the process of getting stronger, they have to be bigger also. Be able to hold all that load. So next time they can perform better. The body is smart and wise, always finding ways to be able to adapt and do the activities that you want to do without being tired. That's why you always need to push a little bit harder because if you do the same thing every day, your body finds a way to do it easier. The body don't want to be tired. So I think I'm just hyped up right now because I haven't done this up in a long time. And this is making me feel good. The pump is amazing. Uh, Try this guys, I promise you, you're gonna feel like you never felt before. Right now I'm feeling like I'm okay or something because of the push up. You wanna feel like that? Try this. 3, 3, 3, just the way I saw you. And the last one, 10. When you finish, tell us. It's gonna be like 10, 15 minutes, depending on your fitness level and how short you can keep your rest period. And then you're done with it in the morning, in the evening, whenever you have free time to do this. Do this for a month straight. I promise you, you're gonna get that. That's amazing! like no man's business so subscribe like share with a friend don't hide the secret that everybody begins we are peace